It's time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Thank you, Jake. Merritt, you got to hold that second championship trophy with the Portland Thorns. Does that feeling ever get old when you're waiting for that final whistle to blow on the sideline where you can run out, celebrate with the team? If that got old, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> so, no, it, it is, is the short answer. It's, it was a magical year and uh, really great group. Of, of women, um, you know, the technical staff, Mark, um, you know, the, 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 all the Nadine, all the, all the, the, the coaches, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it was a special group. There's a special culture around that locker room this year, um, you know, even beyond the winning. Yeah. Uh, so that was, uh, it was, it was a really fun thing to be a part of, one of the cooler ones. I, I think I actually, um, I know um, in this case, I enjoyed the championship. Um, you know, even more than I did in 2013 when we won out of the gate. You did? What, I did. How come? Just the group, or just that I just you felt, hard? I just felt like it was. Okay. You know, the leagues evolved. It's 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 a little bit harder to win. I know the players more. Right. Um, I know the coaches more. You know, so not taking anything away from yeah. from 2013, but uh, uh, it was it was it was really great. And five years into the league, five years into the Thorns. You're breaking attendance records at home. I mean, shattering what other women's professional sports around the world are getting at games. Did you think it would be where it's at right now? Did you think it was possible? Well, well, I have high expectations on everything we do. I, I, I think that uh, did I know that they would be the beacon of light, you know, for women's sports even beyond soccer? No, I mean, okay. you know, so it's it's in terms of what we mean. Um, to women's professional sports, uh, you know that adds that adds a lot of gravitas to the Portland Thorns, and uh, you know it's it's always a responsibility we took seriously. I'd say, given that, you know, I take it even more seriously, and um, you know we're mindful, you know, of of of, of all the Thorns, uh, you know, mean beyond Portland, and and you know I'm hopeful that we're going to have four, five, six Portland Thorns, you know, elsewhere in the United States and, and, you know, maybe other areas of the world. So it's not just magic dust here in Portland. You know, we can, uh, I, I, I think, and especially with the right operators, right. Uh, we, can, we, we, we can continue to move the ball forward. And I loved what you said to the crowd at the Thorns Championship Rally about how you know, they're not just the most important fans in NWSL or even women's sports, but just fans of a professional team because they're showing people how and what's possible, how it should be for a women's professional team. What in that moment made you want to share that with that crowd? Why did it feel like the right time? Well, I mean, it's, it's I, I, what better time? You know, you just won a championship. You're out there with some of the, the diehards who are all you know, showing up on a Sunday night for a rally, and uh, they they mean just like the team means. I mean, the, the, all together. I mean, it's it, it, it's something that's that's far more impactful than just locally. So uh, they know that already without me saying it. I think, but uh, it was it was a great rally and a you know great week. So looking ahead, 2018. What what are you expecting for the Thorns? What are some things that we should be looking for? There will be some changes. I mean, we know a couple already, big changes. I mean, I, I, I hate to see, uh, I'm not in the locker room with them, but I'll, I'll use her nickname anyway, Mandy. Yeah, Mandy. You know, <laughs> I, 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 Henri is just a, uh, is certainly a big loss. Nadia uh, is, 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 a, is a really big loss, um, both on and off the field, yeah. uh, both those players. But we're, you know, when we may have a, Another change that's that's significant as well, uh, you know, and, and I think uh, in hopefully a, a positive way, um, you know. So we're looking at some some moves. I think you can expect to bring in another top shelf attacking player um, to this club. Um, uh, you know, we we the league is a, is a really athletic league. We need to continue to add some pace um, and uh, and and athleticism. But um, you know, I, I I think we've got. We've got some pretty interesting possibilities right now, and I'm optimistic that one or two of them will work out. So before I let you go, I'm, I've always been curious about this. If you could take off your business hat for a moment and put on your father hat, 
what it means to you to have some of the most talented, professional, just incredible, amazing role models for your daughters right here in Portland that they get to go watch. I see how happy they are on the field afterwards. Just what that part means to you. Well, you know, it's funny. I'm gender neutral on the role model thing. I mean, Diego Valeri is just as much a role model to my girls as um, Tobin Heath. Um, you know, and, 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 and so uh, I, I don't think you have to be men or women, you know, for a boy or a girl to be a role model. And, and, and I think too often, uh, you know, athletes get put in that box. Um, but that said, uh, it certainly shows my girls what, you know, what, what, women's pro sports can be you know right. to take out the individual athletes and and they love i mean they really got into the thorns this year um and uh you know they were older than than 2015 so uh you know they when we when the timbers won and um they really weren't involved in 2000 right. you know 13 when we had our original thorns titles so you know experiencing that with them was really cool